I know so many places there. I know uh, they are living uh, female tools, they are living male tools, they are living lynx, they are uh, wolf and bear and this everyone. And I thinking that I am a uh, like an uh, animal, li like them. I living there like them. My name is uh, Nika, Nika Kedzi Oshwili. Uh, I'm from Georgia. Uh, now I'm living uh, uh, in Tbilisi, uh, but I was born uh, in Kori. Uh, it's uh, in the middle of Georgia, uh, and it's a little uh, town. Uh, actually, I think I am a, a little bit, how do I say, an uh, introvert. You know? Actually, when I was uh, Teenager. Nowadays, I no, I'm talking, uh, but sometimes so much that I'm drinking. But before, I don't uh, talking so much. Just uh, the times uh, when I need someone, something, or like that. Just when I need to talk. Uh, it was very uh, relaxed for me in nature with animals. My friend mostly was animals, not humans. And I am uh, every time was uh, in the garden uh, and uh, playing with these dogs, with uh, lambs, with uh, chickens, and we have we had uh, all of animals, pigs, piglets that w was there goats, uh, cows, and uh, I uh, and I playing with them, and it uh, was much more uh, good than uh, around so much people. Biodiversity uh, is very high in Lagodefi because there's a forest area, uh, there's a uh, subalpine, alpine, and uh, 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 about uh, 4,000, uh, 3,000 half meter. And uh, you can, uh, uh, all animals, uh, which ones you can see different parts of Georgia. All of them are in Lagodefi. <laughs> Very good for me. Yeah, I like it. It's a, a really nice place. Yeah. I like Actually, I was there uh, at uh, uh, 2012, first time, and I saw there uh, four new species for me in one day. This one was red deer, uh, East, Ca Ca East Caucasian tar, tur. Uh, Caucasian black grouse and Caucasian snowcock, and it was. Uh, I was very glad this time. I uh, I came to see, it's, and uh, after that uh, I go many places. But I remember these places, and I when I go in Lagodehi, 
I thinking that and I feel this feeling every time. In uh, all the Georgian stories, uh, mostly in mountain parts, uh, this uh, tour is uh, uh, sometimes like a god, uh, and we have many stories uh, how to uh, people uh, died who wanted to uh, just hunted the tour because it's very difficult to go to these places we are we living. I I like them so much because they uh, have. Uh, same challenges than me. <laughs> they living uh, in a very, very high elevation, very rocky places. Very, very cold, uh, freezing. Uh, no food in winter time, and um, they they have just maximum four months without snow, uh, and uh, they living and uh, surviving there. Because I'm interesting to see them close, uh, learn their behavior, uh, how they living, how they uh, fighting, and uh, I am uh, every time surprising. Then I see them. I uh, my feelings are like like that. I first uh, uh, saw them every time. I don't know what is it. We have some uh, relation, me and cars. <laughs> they are uh, few. Uh, they are in red list. Our interest is to uh, protect them. Um, big problem is a uh, hunting actually poaching not hunting and uh, but uh, in, uh, in the wild uh, they don't have uh, so much predators sometimes uh, uh, golden eagle catching uh, little ones uh, this uh, big toes uh, and uh, 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 brown bear uh, as well uh, hunting uh, this uh, juvenile sometimes wolf I have a photo how uh, wolf trying to catch a uh, uh, door, but it's not easy for wolf. Mostly if it's a big male, uh, wolf don't have any chance and I saw it clearly. Then we was face by face together, uh, wolf can't to do anything. So it's nobody had even seen it? Not like this situation. No, no. one had seen it? No. I like so much this peak. <laughs> My favorite one. If the economy in Georgia improves and there's more development for tourism and other sectors, then you, there's probably going to be less poaching. Yes, uh, yes, uh, we, we have uh, like this situation in Hasbegi. Uh, uh, they, uh, in Hasbegi they are hunters and they live it all around the year there but uh, it, uh, it's very uh, touristic now uh, and uh, uh, all of the uh, people are uh, guides uh, to go to uh, Glacier, uh, to go somewhere to see some birds, some something uh, and uh, they don't uh, enough time to go to hunting because uh, tourists uh, take them uh, enough money and uh, they are uh, good this time. They don't want to climb in <laughs> without money, just kill this animal. <laughs> Thank you.
when we were in the mountains, you said uh, a couple of words. You said uh, when talking about the difference between when you're in the city or town versus nature, you said nature is my tranquilizer. Yeah. Can you like uh, explain those words a little bit? Uh, yeah. No, of course I was uh, already student student then I uh, think about this this because uh, uh, when I was a student I don't uh, have enough time to go uh, in the nature many times and uh, uh, I was a little bit aggressive around my uh, around people who people who was around me and uh, uh, at home too when someone asking me it was what are you want <laughs> uh, leave me alone like this uh, and uh, when I was uh, in nature about uh, three days hiking or walking and climbing after two weeks I was like that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Every time I'm polite and like that. And uh, I think that I, I, I need nature, because without nature, I, um, I'm <laughs> not good man. <laughs> and uh, I really like to just uh, sitting uh, somewhere and. Uh, top or, or the rocks and um, uh, under the tree and just sitting it's very re relaxing uh, for me and then I um, realizing that uh, I am a uh, piece of nature or so, something like that and uh, you know feeling that uh, around me there is a uh, so much uh, biodiversity because I don't like just uh, one branch of uh, uh, ecology or something I, I like all of that I like I, I'm interested in insects uh, flowers trees uh, aves mammals because when you feeling that around you there are so much animals you um, feel that this is a life Life is here, all of this. And when you are uh, in the city, you see mostly just one species <laughs> of animals. It's a human. <laughs> and uh, they are so much, but I don't feel that this is a life. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's my feelings. Okay. Uh, I, maybe I'm not uh, the best. <laughs> In those moments when you're on the top of a mountain or you know on the rocks or whatever, what are you actually thinking? Are you thinking anything? Is your mind free and just floating, or do you think about certain things? Uh, uh, mostly. Uh, this is a very relaxing time. Then I try to go close uh, animals for um, to take a photo. Uh, and uh, if it is a uh, very difficult, is more good for me. Cause that time I don't, I can't think uh, thinking anything. Just only how to go there and uh, my brain is free that time for another something what happen around me what about my family about uh, my country about my f I think this is the first uh, uh, something who uh, makes me free like that cause I uh, it, it was the uh, same situation when I was um, um, hunting in my childhood. It was the same situation. When you trying to go close uh, for something and then you um, 
follow by uh, track of animal and you thinking uh, they are just there is it and you can't uh, think uh, uh, any problems uh, with time uh, and uh, it's very good for me and uh, adrenaline when you are uh, of uh, age uh, to life and death the time you can't do <laughs> think about two different <laughs> cases and uh, you are my brain resting the time uh, yeah the time I, I was uh, uh, 14 years old and uh, uh, then at the time I hunting cows around me um, all my neighbors are hunters was hunters and uh, if you uh, wanted to have any contact to nature uh, you have just one way to go hunting there because uh, uh, that time I have never seen that time camera I, I don't know what is it actually uh, uh, I have seen it uh, just TV uh, and uh, it uh, was uh, impossible uh, for my family to um, buy for me this camera and uh, when you, when I want to see uh, the birds or animals close, I wanted to kill it. But then I uh, killed them. Uh, I was not good. My feelings not good because I wanted to uh, became it uh, alive and uh, run away, but it was impossible. Uh, and but uh, uh, I, the time I was very young and uh, just uh, held uh, this fighting uh, inside me. Uh, is it good hunting or bed or what is it? I don't know. And that uh, one day I was uh, uh, in the forest and uh, I had. Uh, uh, two dog. Uh, they was uh, very uh, brave and nice dogs actually. They was my I, I Georgian say that my uh, right hand <laughs> like that. And uh, uh, I I just walking and uh, listening uh, that uh, what time they uh, begin uh, barking or, or something. Yeah. Uh, and uh, once I heard this one, they not barking, they uh, crying, how do I say, I don't know, <laughs> very loudly. And uh, uh, running very fast. I don't see them, but I heard that they go going very fast. Uh, I go that there was a uh, little valley. Uh, there was a snow, and I interesting, uh, and I interesting to interested to see um, uh, which uh, animal uh, way was follow. Uh, uh, and uh, when I go there. Uh, there was a little spring. I just drink water because uh, I running and uh, slopes and uh, rocks and something. Uh, it was winter, but I, I was very <laughs> hot the time. I drink a uh, few water and then I uh, get up. I see that there is a big bear uh, around 20 meter from me and uh, uh, it is a up and I'm a down. Uh, 
I remember from my uh, friends who was uh, uh, old hunters that uh, never shoot bear up because it's uh, very fast and very fast he can to go to um, come and kill you. But when I see it, I don't thinking about this. I just take my gun and shoot uh, it. Actually, it was him. Uh, uh, he, the bear, opened the mouth, mouth, and uh, mm, cry, cry, cry very loudly, and running down my direction. I uh, shoot again and jump jump uh, on the rock and take my knife but that same time then I shoot it and jump the rock uh, it uh, change uh, direction I think uh, keep thinking that maybe I have more bullets and don't want to <laughs> go again my direction I, I, I don't know but uh, uh, about he was the around uh, five meter from me uh, then it jumped another direction and after that I don't see it because there was a uh, uh, slope uh, I was uh, there a few minutes uh, change bullets and uh, slowly going to see what happened there it was dead or not or well, then I saw that uh, there was a snow and there was a no nothing just the track I go follow this track I went and see that there was a blood uh, this time I was uh, very scared it adrenaline was like like that up than me <laughs> Uh, I afraid, I scared, but I wanted to see what there happened. Uh, and a few, after a few meters, uh, I, I saw uh, this blood. Uh, and uh, slowly, I I'm went slowly, uh, and I have a gun. My uh, hence, because uh, there was a uh, under forest bushy area and uh, no view. Uh, uh, view was uh, about uh, 5 meters, sometimes 10 meters. And uh, I. That's uh, rocks and something that's very hard to uh, walk there. And I going slowly, and uh, my uh, heart was jumping <laughs> in my chest. Uh, and uh, this day I don't see it. The, the time coming the, the night, and I uh, go to home. Uh, and uh, I don't sleep. <laughs> that this time I just jumping or I try say in my bed I, every time uh, in my eyes was uh, this uh, moment every time I come to sleep and uh, next day me and uh, my father go there uh, and uh, after uh, half day walk uh, uh, we saw if it was uh, in the snow and it was dead already uh, and uh, uh, my feelings was was very different because um, it was very huge and I can't believe that I can to kill uh, this big animal and uh, uh, 
Actually, after this, I decided to uh, don't kill uh, animals and mostly bears because they are very clever and very very nice ones. And uh, uh, after this, I uh, don't want it to see them uh, like this situation and they was dead and uh, just uh, lying on the snow and I said it was very nice when it's walking and uh, his back was very big and when it moving this skin was moving too like that and uh, it was really nice when uh, it was alive. But after, uh, I think so, after uh, when I was uh, 20 years old, I, I stopped it. Uh, at this time I bought my first uh, zoom camera and it was really nice. <laughs> after that, I sometimes i hunting with my camera but i am uh, my feelings are very good and i i feel good that time then i can to go there shoot them i have animal in my camera and they are alive this uh, life is a school and you can learn step by step I try to enjoy here my life and don't uh, think to uh, after will be anything uh, and uh, I am uh, ready to I am ready every day for death and it's not problem uh, every every person or every people uh, afraid uh, death but uh, how much <laughs> how much it's a question it's good if I if they remember me with uh, some kind uh, kind jobs of uh, they say that uh, uh, there was uh, one uh, man who liked to uh, go in high mountains and take pictures or searching of this uh, mountain goats and uh, died there in the mountains <laughs> and he was a good guy but uh, uh, I don't care so much about this This is Saxon. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to watch Like an Animal. This film has been supported by Opticron. They are masters of binoculars and field scopes, and I approach them because they're a brand my friends here in Georgia use and respect highly. This summer, my friend and mentor Nika Papushvili, Georgian ornithologist who cameos in Like an Animal, gifted me a pair of Oregon 4. He and I have been so impressed with their power and clarity for a smaller model. And Opticron have kindly offered to give away a pair of their new Explorer model to a viewer of this film. Check the link in the description for more information.